Hi, in this tutorial we'll be taking a look at the new preset system introduced inside of Mari Extension Pack 4, Update 4 and further extended inside of Update 5. The main purpose of the preset system is to alleviate the returning setup of shaders etc. So for example, if I just get rid of my existing shader here and I need to set up a new shader. So now I would always have to assign all the different channels to the different inputs of the shader. Let me just hook this up again. So now I have kind of assigned all my different channels, but I would still not be done because I usually make modifications to some of the parameters of the shader. So for example, change the shader type to GTX. Turn off the Fresnel log, go down to the bump map, set this to one. And under the displacement, turn off perturbed normals and set a OK tessellation. And now I'm about done with this shader setup. So I would need to do this all the time, which is frankly a bit annoying. So with my extension pack update four, I have introduced the shader preset system. So in here, in the shader palette, you will see these two icons, the save shader preset and remove shader preset. With the shader selected, so you can see here, the name says V-Ray material. If I click the save preset, I've now stored a new material preset for the type V-Ray material. So now if I delete the shader again and just create a new V-Ray material, you can see that all my channels are assigned again and also all my settings have been restored. The channel assignment works by name, meaning that you can standardize this way your uh, shader assignments, for example, by saving a preset with the diffuse color assigned to the channel diff. And the next time you're in a new project, you can also create a preset. And if the shader finds an existing channel called diff, it would automatically hook it up. And the same, obviously, for all the other slots. If you don't like a preset anymore, you can just remove it here. And then you're starting fresh with the default Mari shaders. So this is a great way to speed up the setup process of your scene by just standardizing some naming with your channels, for example, and then you're always set up the way you want. Additional functionality of the shader preset system is available via the node graph. So here I have my node graph making up the three materials on this object, the wood, silver, and gold. When working in such a node graph, you'll often find yourself that you wouldn't want to isolate a material. So to just view it in isolation, either to work on it and tweak it completely by itself, or just to not take the shader hit of viewing everything together. Let's take a quick look at some of the nodes that make up this material. So we can see here, I have a name called gold underscore NOR, gold underscore BUP, etc. These names correspond in parts to some of the channel names we had previously that were saved as part of the shader preset. So for example, the normal channel here, you can see was previously assigned to the normal map slot, and we have an occurrence of this name inside of our node. So if I select all these nodes, right mouse click, miscellaneous, set nodes to shader, you can see the selected shader got rewired to just show me this gold material. So the same for this wood material. And actually, instead of every node, let's just select some of them. For example, this, this, and this. And set nodes to shader. And now just these three nodes have been rewired to the shader and all other connections have been cleared. So you always just set the nodes to the shader that have been selected and all other slots of the shaders will be set to none. I can toggle back to my previous result if I don't select any nodes and then again set nodes to shader and now it'll swap back to the gold material. If you want to reset your shader to the way it was the first time you executed set nodes to shader, you can now use the miscellaneous reset shader and it'll rewire itself to the first time this preset was saved. So now we have our original back. So this shader preset system should hopefully make it easier to isolate materials inside the node graph, while also allowing you to speed up your scene setup in general, just by being able to save presets and having your channels automatically set up for you.